Good morning mga atin mga kuya May special sa amin tayo Ngayon galing kay misis Baka uh, mapasubo eh Ayokong gumasta Pero uh, I don't know Dika samahan nyo ako Papakita ko sa inyo Kuya po to siguro tinatanong nyo Ano naman yung malaking gastang pinagsasabi mo? Well guys, assignment ko ngayon, inutusan ako ni Mrs. Mendoza to go to the Honda dealership to see what our options are and run some numbers. Ibig sabihin po nun, etong kotse namin kasi, it's gonna be 3 years old soon and today it officially hit 50,000 kilometers on the odometer. So usually pag nangyari yun, all of the wear items like yung gulong yung brakes uh, certain type of maintenance you know ayoko ng bayaran yun eh cuz that's going to come out of my pocket so typically pag ganito na yung mga edad nung lease na kotse namin like like around 3 years old or 50,000 kilometers binabalik na namin so i can get a brand new one fresh from the factory walang sakit ng ulo and the warranty is 100% intact, right? It just makes perfect sense. I'd like to see if I can get another passport that's brand new. Pero I've been looking at the prices online and it seems like lahat tumaas pati yung kotse, lalo na yung kotse. But uh, kung yung payment, it's not that far from what we're paying right now, then I would jump on it. Pero like I said, you know, I got to wait until uh they crunch the numbers. So, ito, kakanan tayo dito, and the Honda dealership should be right there. So, guys, this is the moment of truth. Wish me luck. Hopefully, the numbers work out. But kung hindi, it's all good. I don't mind. You know, I just want to know what our options are, like I said. Buti na lang, di ko sinama si Mrs. Mendoza dito dahil she's a very uh, emotional buyer. And when you're buying a car, you can't be emotional. You have to stick to the numbers. So that's why I went by myself. Okay, guys, paparada muna ako. And uh, we'll talk in a little bit. So, guys, nandito tayo ngayon sa Honda dealership dito sa Brantford, Ontario. Mm, magbabakasakali tayo. Because, uh... It's going to be three years old soon at the uh, truck ni Mises. So we're going to see what they have available for us. Okay. So we're going to go talk to uh, my friend Calvin. He's the guy that uh, made this deal happen for us three years ago and three years before that. So we'll talk to him today. We'll see. I just got a call from the Honda manager. She told me that Calvin doesn't work here anymore. So we'll be talking to Aaron. Okay, let's go, Aaron. <laughs> Ooh, check it out, mga atid, mga kuya. It's a 2020 Toyota Supra. Ano ginagawa ng Toyota dito sa Honda dealership? I don't really care. This is so amazing. I've always loved this car. I've always been a big Supra fan. I'd like to get one, but not right now. Hihintayin ko muna mag-depreciate to. You know, when it gets to that point na medyo affordable na, maybe I'll pick one up. I love these things ever since I was a teenager. I think this final form of the Supra is the absolute best. Not crazy about the color though. If I was to get one, it'll be white, red, or black. It's very nice. As much as I would love to stare at the Supra, let's go look at this on the passport. Oh, I thought this was the new one. This is exactly like the one that I have, just in like a burgundy color. Okay guys, I see Aaron. Uh, I'm gonna go sit down with him and uh, talk some business. Nice car, right? Eh? Very nice. Yeah. The interest rate is how much? I believe 729 for the passport. I'm gonna pull it up here right now. Do you guys have a third party company that you guys utilize <clears throat> for interest rates or does it have to be Honda Finance? For a lease, it has to be Honda Finance. It has to be Honda Finance? So that, that's where we, all of our new leases, they have to go through Honda. Okay. Uh, Trail score 759. So. Shit, that's high. Yeah, so about 1.6% higher than what you're at right now. Give or take some right. Cause I think I saw you at 599 right now. Yeah, yeah. And uh, on the CRVs, just out of curiosity? 
like, a pretty similar, man. I know our standard rate right now is right around the 7%, so. I thought it was, uh, like, model specific, no? Yeah, CRV, 7.59. Wow. I know, right? It's insane. That's what my rate's on on the Civic. It's crazy. I just leased a Civic hatchback, and I'm at 7.59 right now, too. Okay. <clears throat> it's crazy. So, price-wise, my wife just texted me about a Honda Odyssey. Okay. Yep. Are they a lot, Are they around the same price point as a Passport? They're similar for sure. Like I'll, the Passport Trail Sport, um, with is this with taxes built in or before taxes? Uh, this includes freight and PDI. Okay. And it's at fifty three one seventy three plus, plus tax. taxes. Uh, the Odyssey. Forty seven. Uh, the EX is non-existent now. We won't be able to get an EX model. We most likely will Why is only the be EX not available? The EX sold out yeah. almost instantly, instantly. as soon as the 2023s come out. So uh, I'm assuming you guys don't have anything on the floor right now, like a floor model? I don't believe so. No, we don't have any new artists. We had one. Uh, that one had since sold, but we had a, we had a sale, sale weekend um, this, pa this past weekend. Because I'm not totally against the floor model also. Okay. Now, the next one I have coming in, it's a touring model of the Odyssey, and that's at 58. No, it's too much. 73. It's too I've, I've only got, <clears throat> I've got five tourings and one black edition coming in for the Odysseys. Okay. That's about all I've got right now. All right. Um, Aaron, it's almost the same size. Yes, yeah, so and the size of it is identical. The main difference between new rim style. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the front end has changed up quite a bit too. The new grill, and it's also been squared off a lot more compared to the more rounded off finish sets. Performance-wise, is there any difference? Same 3.5 liter V6, same. Uh, instead of a 9 speed automatic transmission, you have a 10 speed automatic. So really, for the most part, it's all cosmetics, right? It is, yes. Okay. Yeah. Even the interior. Oh, that Honda new smell. I know, right? <laughs> you can't beat it. Uh, but in the Trail Sport, full leather interior, and the Trail Sport's going to give you this orange stitching, and then you've got the Trail Sport badging okay. throughout it as well. Um, and you said it does come with the, the all-season mats, yeah? Yeah, we just haven't, haven't put, up, put them all in yet. Because for the most part, this looks exactly like my Passport. Yep. yep <clears throat> Except for the leather, obviously. Yeah, leather interior. Then, of course, this one from your model is going to Oh, the, the rear. Yeah, so you're going to have the rear heated seats as well. And yeah. the tri-zone climate control will help extra charging parts in the back here too. Okay. And then this will also have the built-in navigation, the wireless charge. Does it come well. with the, the tray on yeah, the it'll back? it'll come with the tray as well. It'll come with the tray in the back? I mean the, the cargo cover. Yeah. It does? Them, yeah. Okay. So that's all part of the protection package. So it has an automatic trunk release? Because uh, the lift gate release, I don't have that. It, it doesn't have the kick sensor, but it is but, power here. Okay. And then you can also use the button on your on your uh, key fob, and there's another one beside the And I'm assuming button. standard automatic starter for the winner. Yep. Yeah, remote okay. starter, and then a new blind spot monitoring system where instead of having that camera-based system on the right-hand side, you're going to have the radars on the left and right. Okay. You know what? There's really not much difference. No, it's very similar. I think I'm more interested in that one. Yeah. Because that's had a, a major facelift from uh, yeah, yeah, from the old one. The interior, everything. I mean, I'm looking at this yeah. and I'm looking at that. It's almost the same size. Pretty similar. Plus, right? it's a four-cylinder, right? Yeah, it'd be a lot better on gas. You'll be sitting at about 8 liters for every 100 kg compared to 11 on the passport. Because, so. I mean, it's not a pig. It's okay. Yeah. But, but the CRV that we had before was way more economical. Yeah. But, so what model is this, Aaron? So this is the Sport. Uh, sport B. This is a Sport? Yeah. So this is like... This is the one that I just quoted. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yep. You, got, you got it. Okay. Uh, but you can get this in white? Yeah, we've got one that's going to be here beginning of May. Same wheels, yep. same... Yep. Same rim style. Everything you see here is identical. The same chrome trim around, the same black body cladding around the, the rear of the production as well. Can you open it? I'll have to grab the key. Yeah. Yes, here, I'll sure. close the door on that one. Thank you.
this or that this or that this is gonna be a pretty tough decision guys because I've always been a big fan of the CRV lalo na ngayon binago nila yung uh, design and I'm a big fan of it it's very simple it reminds me of a Mercedes Benz believe it or not hindi ko na sinami negotiation part na sa loob ng opisina guys because I have something special planned for that and you'll see what I'm talking about but for now let's go check out the CRV because it looks really really nice I don't know Aaron I think you got me sold on this one the CRV. I'm a huge fan of the CRV myself I love the new redesign I think the, the body line is awesome in it and the interior it follows suit with the new Civics the new HRVs I I'm going to be very gentle with this because you told me it's sold. I just want to see the interior. Yeah, very different compared to the, the interiors that are in your current generation Passport. Yeah, I mean, the Passport's great. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But I don't really know if we uh, really need the space. I mean, this is way more user-friendly in my opinion. And the CRV is going to have this full... Yeah. Full okay. 90 degree opening door here. So, oh. really, really wide open space getting in and out. Makes it nice and easy. And those are the same mats that would be in the uh, in the same one as yours. Perfect. I don't have to buy tux mats or nothing. <laughs> like all that weather stuff that covers the whole bit. Yeah, right? uh, this nothing. is good. So, it's all right from Honda and it's warranted for three years. <clears throat> You said May 1st for a white uh, one? Uh, first week of May. First week of May? Yep. May tell us by week. Can you pop the trunk? I just yeah. want to see how how, yeah, how big the, the space is. Sure. <laughs> Same full power trailer. Oh, perfect. Yep. Perfect. You got it. Cargo tray in there too. So cargo tray, but it doesn't come with a cargo cover. It doesn't cover the back of the seats. No, there are. Because there's a bar that goes here that covers the. Yep. It doesn't come with that, right? Not anymore. No, it, it used to. And now Honda, they said, gotta buy it. <laughs> gotta buy it. It's crazy. No, I think this. Uh, I think this works. Yeah, cargo space works too. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Yeah. Okay, Mrs. Mendoza, take a look at that one. <laughs> take a look at this one. Aaron, I don't want to take up any more of your time, oh, you but uh, do you have one that's not sold that we can take out? You drive it. I just want to see how it rides. Um, I'll have to find out. I'll have to ask management. I know we had one, and we may have sold it during our sale day weekend, okay. but I'll find out for sure. Yeah, like this, I don't need to drive. I drive this every day. Yeah. But this one, I'm really curious. I, I just want to know how it feels. Sure. Because really, I don't need that big of a truck. Right. This is almost the same size. Yeah, pretty similar. Like I said, the fuel savings alone will save you a decent amount of money. Yeah. Sure. And it's still regular, obviously, right? Yep. yep. Okay. Regular fuel, yep. I like this color, Nardo Gray. I know, right? It's cool. Uh, yeah, it's cool. I'm just going to pull it back. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, can you ask Aaron if uh, there's one that we can take for a spin? Yeah, yeah, let me go find out. Yeah, good, thank you. No problem. This or that. This or that. This or that. <coughs> My truck. New truck. So mga atit, mga kuya, I have a decision to make. Do I go with a brand new passport again or do I go with a CRV? Stay tuned. So for now, this is Puto Mendoza in Canada wishing you good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Stay hungry, stay humble. Keep your hustle strong, guys. Part 2 coming soon with a breakdown.